Hi and uh, welcome to another interview of a former student of the course uh, 31761 Renewables in Electricity Market. We have the pleasure right now to be with uh, Thibaut, Thibaut Richer, uh, and we'll uh, discuss some of the learnings in the course, what he's uh, doing today, and maybe what he appreciates uh, with uh, taking the course. So, welcome Thibaut. Thank you. First of all, Thibaut, could you please tell us who you are and what you do maybe today? So, I'm uh, Thibaut Richard, I'm French, I'm a former uh, master student from DTU that followed the Sustainable Energy Master here and I'm currently working uh, as a PhD student still at DTU. Okay, and uh, what, uh, what education did you, did you receive in, uh, in Denmark and uh, maybe abroad before to move to Denmark? So, originally in France I was a civil engineer, specialized in indoor climate and control. And then I decided to move to Denmark to uh, open up on my uh, learning uh, experience in the field of energy and uh, also learn English. So I came to do a second bachelor in uh, uh, civil engineering specialized in energy. And then I followed up with the Master of Sustainable Energy at DTU specialized in uh, thermodynamics Thermo line. Thermodynamics. And uh, can you please tell us what, uh, what you do today? So today I am uh, employed at uh, CE in the Energy System Operation and Management Group as a PhD student. So I'm in my final year, ending in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm working on integrated energy systems. So looking at uh, how to couple district heating networks together with the electrical grid at the distribution level. Mm -hmm. So it, it's quite a bit of uh, analytics and control. You have a lot of data, you try to model the systems, how they interact. Yes, so it's uh, about handling data of different systems. Mm -hmm. So both uh, time series and uh, topological data to translate that into mathe mathematical models mm -hmm. to uh, simulate the actual operation of these networks mm -hmm. and their interactions. Okay. How do you feel that uh, relates to your education? Do you feel that you learn things, for instance, in this course, but also in other courses that were really helpful for, for doing this work and this research you're into today? Yes, uh, I think it's uh, quite of a hot topic right now, these integrated energy systems, and uh, mm -hmm. it combines a lot of, uh, of uh, domains. So electrical engineering, thermodynamics, and uh, modeling, and data analysis, and these kind of things, uh, which... Uh, and the market framework. And the market framework, <laughs> of course, I was going to get there, <laughs> <coughs> which are basically, so it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of competencies you, you need to look at these uh, this complex uh, cyber-physical networks that we're evolving towards. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, as part of your studies, you took the course uh, 31761 Renewables in Electricity Market. Uh, do you remember why you took this uh, course in the first place? Uh, so in the first place, it was a new course when I was a student. So it was the first year it was taught, I think. And uh, I, it was uh, as a follow-up to the energy economic course uh, in the master uh, program that I followed. And I felt that the energy economics course was a bit uh, too high level. It was very interesting and I really liked this course. It was and broad maybe? It was yeah. too, it was broad and I really wanted to learn more mm -hmm. because um, with the other courses then you, you realize that everything is uh, oriented around the market. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to know more and uh, that's why I chose that course. Mm -hmm. Just being curious and wanted to learn more on that. So then you went for that course. So how do you feel that it uh, allowed you to develop some, some good basics uh, in that field? Um, well, the, the course design is covering many topics, so it includes data analysis and then you, you also get into the real uh, market setup, how it works and what is the, the mechanism behind optimization and, uh, and all these things. So, um, yeah, you felt it was a good coverage overall? Yeah, Did I think it gave you a bit of everything. <coughs> it was giving me a bit of everything because the optimization part was also covered in the master, mm -hmm. but it was more generic and that was a, an applied mm -hmm. uh, situation to okay. electricity market. And that I, was what I, I, I felt what interesting. But then does that mean there's some parts of the course that you particularly enjoyed? And if so, why? Or is it just the course overall that you... I think I enjoyed the course overall and the structure of the course. Uh, so the assignment-based structure with the assignment that are really hand-on. Yeah. So that you actually get real data and that you get to work with this real data and you, you build a real optimization problem. Yeah. And um, then there is also the trading uh, 
part in the course mm. where you actually get to compete with each other, <laughs> which is actually nice that you can relate the more abstract concepts that you learn to mm. something concrete. Okay. Okay. And do you also think that the course allowed you to develop some uh, other skills, like more general skills, group work, uh, how to write assignments? Yes, uh, the course was very nice for that because it was the, the only one I, ha I had where we were asked to write assignment in the form of a paper. Mm -hmm. So um, it was really nice to, to see how you actually get to, to write a scientific, scientific mm -hmm. research in general and how to collaborate with other students to, to put that into a a usable format and, mm -hmm. and a nice to read format. Okay, good. And if you if you were to give some uh, specific advice to some of the students who will take uh, the course um, in terms of uh, what they will do if they continue with a master's te thesis or, or start a, a career in that field, what kind of uh, specific advice would you would give them? Well, I would totally tell them to try the course if they are just curious about it and if they just wonder if it's a good course or not, just, just take it and try. And uh, I, I'm a good example of that because that was my case and then I ended up uh, following with my master thesis on that uh, because I really enjoyed the course and I, I, I wanted to, to do more. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me it was really a good experience to take the course, enjoy it and then pursue with a, and a master further thesis. With that. Yes. Good. Thank you very much Thibault. That was very nice that you shared this, uh, these ideas. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.